right good morning good morning independently blind welcome back welcome back we're in week two for close up to training for a california national marathon and leading into a dopey challenge so today it would be tuesday um Tuesday morning. It's still kind of cold out here in California. That's why I got my beanie on this morning. Yes, I, I'm a Raiders fan. Take it easy on me, you guys. We're having a rough year, but we'll bounce back. Do better next year. Huh. But this is post day two from the marathon, half marathon I did on Sunday. So today called for uh, about a three and a half mile walk. So what's up, y'all? Hey. I do owe you guys an apology. I was supposed to record Sunday at my half marathon run in Clarksburg. I did not get a chance to do that um, for a variety of reasons, but the main one being it was super cold out there. And um, it was probably, I think the temperature said 41, but with the wind, it was probably in the area of 36 in that area we had like 15 to 20 mile an hour winds and by the time we got everything set up and everything folks were extremely cold so a lot of people went back to the cars just to hang out to the to the race started so it wasn't too many people out there and then by the time i got done running my race those that were the majority of people were doing the 5k and 10k uh, they were already gone, so I didn't get a chance to really interview anybody. So that's why there was no video uh, Sunday at the race. But we had about seven blind and vision pair runners um, out there. But overall, the race was uh, it was a success, even though the weather wasn't really cooperating. It was, like I said, extremely strong winds, which really makes a difference coming back because of the headwind um, running that six miles back in the headwind was not fun at all and i was testing out a couple new stuff before my california national marathon race and found out that i need another brace of my knee my hand for my hamstring i mean so we'll get that taken care of but even through all that still had a great time had a great guy we had so much fun out there her name was jenny she's a amazing runner she does all kind of stuff from ultra runs, 100 mile runs, all the way down to, all the way down to Geyer. But we're just wrapping up this first week for you guys here. So the first week we um, did some running, we did some walking, and we did a race. Um, all in preparation for California National Marathon. And then further down the line in January, we got the Dopey Challenge at Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend which I and my guide are really, really looking forward to. Um, but we'll take it up from there. All right, so week one was closed. All right, y'all, we're two miles in now. And I just wanted to take a little bit of time just to say thank you to everybody that's watched. Our last series, which would be a universal experience that me and Jason just did. Um, I can tell you guys that we had a great time being down there. Um, it was a great time for Jason's first time. And I haven't been to Universal in a, in a minute, so that was fun too. Um, but I just want to say thank you for your support with those videos. Um, and just thank you for everything you guys are doing for our channel here. We appreciate it. Um, we hope to get down there sooner than later. But until then, you know, like I said, I'll be covering my marathon journey and then also covering my, sorry, I can't see the camera right now, but I'm also covering our, my, our, my Disney World trip, which is gonna be so much fun. Looking forward to that so much. Um, I already made dinner reservations. You yeah, gotta know if you had never been to Disney World, everything's planning so you have to make your disney world dinner reservation 60 days out um uh, in 30 days out we can go ahead and make our disability um das pass reservations so 
I'll cover that for you guys too, see how, and tell you how how it went for Disney World using that system. I never used that one before, where you have to do on the computer to register. Uh, so that should be fun. And then also just a trip in general and covering all the Disney World Marathon weekend and Expo and the parks and all that stuff. So it'll be um, several several um, covered uh, videos of that. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish up this walk here. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, today will be Wednesday morning. We're gonna be doing uh, 10 hills, repeat, 10 hill repeats, and then follow that by a 5K uh, three mile run. Um, three mile easy run, not bad at all today. What's up, y'all? We finished a 10 mile, um, I mean, sorry, 10 miles. We finished the 10 hill repeats. Now we are heading down a mile into our run here. Just checking back in with y'all. We are taking it extremely easy today. Uh, considering it's the first one back post uh, half marathon legs really ain't feeling it but we are currently passing the junior high i went to right over here to the left and then coming up in a little bit we'll be at the high school i went for for two years so and i run the past here always bringing back <laughs> memories but we we'll continue on here on this journey to California International Marathon. And then after that, onwards to Dopey in Disney World. All right, keep on. Keep on doing what you guys are doing. Stay positive, stay after it. Set big goals for yourself. I always say, if your, draw, if your goals don't scare you, they're not big enough. Dream bigger. If I told you guys what my goals are for the channel, they scare me, you know? So, one day we will get there. We gotta keep doing what we're doing. Just like you guys keep doing what you're doing. Every day is progress. All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Oh, sorry y'all. I zoned out there for a little bit. We're coming up on two and a half miles right now. Just finishing it off here. Legs are finally starting to, to loosen up some. But overall, it's a nice day. There's no wind. It's a little bit warmer today than yesterday. As you can see, I'm in short sleeves today. So it's always nice to get outside and do some running. I uh, finally got my new watch here. So testing out some of the features on those. It's the Apple Watch 8. Once I play with around some more, I'll give a, a review on that when I do my overall reviews on the tools that I use for recovery and the tools I use for running. I'll give you a breakdown on what shoes I typically run in and what I recommend and how to get the right shoes for yourself. It has not been an easy run. It is long and sluggish, but some runs are gonna be like that. Just like some days are gonna be like that, where you don't feel like pushing through or continuing on, but you do it anyway for the bigger goal that you have in mind. And mine is to run a sub five hours at CIM so I can get to, to Boston in 2024 and run the Boston Marathon. Uh, we'll go over that story a little bit later. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this last half mile and get this run over with 
and I will check you guys out tomorrow. Until next time, you guys stay independently blind. And as always, please like and subscribe, share, and tell a friend. All right? Peace.